All right, for blind training, what I want to do is I want to adjust the feel. So somebody comes at me, say he hits me or I hear him coming and I cover up. As soon as I cover up, I know where his arm's at, I know where his head's at. So as soon as I catch his head, I disrupt his balance because I want to destabilize his spine. As soon as I do that, I can slick to one arm and be around his back and catch his head again. As soon as I got his full head, that's what I wanted. When they got his head, I control his whole body. And I don't have to see. The other one, if I'm in a grab situation, I know where his head's at. I know where his arm's at. What I want to do is push his head away and control his arm where I can take him down. And then I never let go of the arm. I know his head's always at the end of the arm. I start jacking him. I get punched a couple times, he's punching me. I know his groin is in the center, boom. I know his head's right here, where I'm at. As soon as I come up in the middle, I know I can hook around to the reverse of my elbow. Keep the arm. I know his leg's right here, because it's attached to his arm and his body. Right? And I can still take his head, take his arm, bring him down, do my Muay Thai. I know, if I keep an arm, I know where the rest of them's at. You get his head, start soft tissue neck, me and him in the face. And then I see, I do that all with my eyes closed. So once I, some stuff I showed today, he comes at me and I crash in, boom. I take control of an arm, I'm on his head, we're body to body, I've got his shoulder, I'm tight. I'm basically reading braille on him by feeling his body. And then I could just walk and crank his body down and control him. And then I take his sight. And then I could bend his arm over my leg until I feel the tension is right. And then I could choke him and keep the tension on until he stops. Break things. <laughs> Break things. <clears throat> but anytime I'm in the middle, boom, I could push his head back and it lengthens his arm to where I could control joints, right? I pop the elbow here, and then once I pop the elbow out, I got him up high. I can always release the head, go to the elbow and turn pit it. And then he's on the ground. Then I take his hand and I twist it any kind of way it don't want to go, and it's going to be a bad day. So this is essentially for you, Brad. I know you can't see, but you got mad skills. So, and uh, so once I get to anywhere, I'm here, I know that if I catch his elbow and I dive underneath his elbow to his tricep, I can grab his head around the outside, peel his eyes and head back against his shoulders like a lever, and I'm in full control. He can't see now either. Now he's blind. <laughs> and I keep him blind. He can't see we even the match. And I poke both his eyes, <laughs> and then we're fighting the same fight. So, even the playing field, anytime you're inside, boom, I know where his head's at, I can grab his face, and I take his eyes. That's what I'd want to do if I was blind, I'd want to make them blind too. <laughs>